to another episode of Spectacular Magazine Shorts. I'm your host, Phyllis Coley. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Oscars 2022. Well, they're back live in L.A. Uh, it will take place on March 27th. They have a couple of new things this year. One is they're going back to having a host. They haven't had a host in, in a couple of years. This year, they're going to have three dynamic women that are going to be hosting. That's Regina King, Amy Schuler and Schumer, and Wanda Sykes. But what else is new is their announcer. And of everybody who we are so excited because that announcer is a Tar Heel. She's a Durham native, and she is really making all of us proud. Joining me now is Janora McDuffie, who is uh, going to be doing all of the voiceover, all of the announcing for the Oscars this year. Welcome, Janora. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, and thank you. So, Janora, first of all, tell us a little bit about your background growing up in Durham, where you went to high school, that kind of thing. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Durham is all the time in my heart. No matter where you go in the world, there is no place like home. Born and raised in the northern part of Durham. Shout out to Old Farm neighborhood. My parents are still there holding it down. I went to Northern Durham High School before I went to North Carolina School of Science and Math for my 11th and 12th grade years. Graduated, stayed in North Carolina. I was awarded the Moorhead Kane Scholarship to attend University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Got my, my Tar Heel uh, on that yes. I, again, proudly represent. After college, I got a job in corporate America, actually moving to Atlanta, realized that corporate wasn't for me and it was time to live some dreams. Young, fresh, no uh, obligations or responsibilities in this world, so let's go. So that was 22 years ago, Phyllis, that I, I took the uh, Hollywood plunge and I've been there ever since. You have, and so tell us a, a, like a couple of the productions that we would, we would know and have recognized you in. Absolutely. So I think my biggest two television shows and claim to fame uh, that you would see me in would be about seasons seven and eight of Grey's Anatomy. I was a social worker on the case when Mayor Dare, Meredith and Derek, uh, mm -hmm. that, that's uh, for the super fans there that would know the reference, but the two main characters adopted a little black baby. And so I was a social worker on that case. Uh, which was really exciting because it was actually part of the storyline. And so I was in and out the end of season seven, beginning of season eight. And it was really a wonderful adventure. I remember and the, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my latest uh, on camera uh, big show is an episode of This Is Us this past season. So if you watch This Is Us, you know, it's told in a series of flashbacks occasionally. Mm -hmm. And one of the flashbacks was Randall, the little black boy. And I played his ghost kingdom mom in an episode. So uh, again, for those who don't know the storyline, he was adopted into a white family mm -hmm. uh, and he was surrounded by love, but not necessarily his own reflection and identity as a black man. So growing up, the only two people he saw that were black were the librarian and the meteorologist on TV. So his ghost kingdom family, this made up family consisted of those two as his parents. So I played the librarian uh, dream mom for, for him. So it, it's such an honor to be part of two amazing shows and I uh, look forward to my on-camera career continuing as well. But I can't be more thrilled that you don't see me right now. <laughs> and I am announcing, uh, yeah, for the Oscar. So this is my biggest voiceover role yet. And I imagine, so Janora, how did this come about? Was, was there an audition process? Yeah, so I tossed my hat in the ring for the audition. Uh, at first, I just sent in my demo reel. So as a voiceover artist, there are different segments of being a voiceover artist. You've got a cartoon animation reel that shows all your character type voices. Mm -hmm. You have a reel for audiobooks, which is the, that type of tone. And then you've got your commercial reel. So I just sent in the whole shebang. <laughs> then I, I then made it to another round where I needed to send in some Oscar um, jargon. So I went back and I transcribed what I could from past um, uh, Oscar programs 
and put together a little package, sent that in, and my audition won me this role. So I am, again, over the moon. I am so excited. And we're so proud of you. So now you're doing the voiceover for both the red carpet and the, uh, the show? There is a red carpet component that I will announce. And then, yes, for the show, I will announce as well. So I'll be the one welcoming you to the Oscars, introducing the hosts that are coming to the stage and all the presenters. And then when each um, winner is announced, I will be the one sharing with you a little bit of the information about how many times they've been nominated. And this is their first, second, or third win. So it's really exciting. And just for anybody who wanted to know, it is live. Nobody knows the winners beforehand. So it is the real deal. And not even me. So that means I got to be on my toes. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. So you, because I, I was like, so for you to be prepared, they had to already tell you who, who the winners are. Nope, nope. I just know who the nominees are. And each nominee has a different script if they mm -hmm. do win. So I do have a uh, the script supervisor there with me at all times. So she's the one to helping to help me guide, uh, to help guide me <laughs> to make sure I don't sound like that. <laughs> when we go live. <laughs> I am sure that you're going to be fine. I mean, this is the Oscars. They just don't pick, you know, just somebody who's just starting out, okay, to do these kind of yeah. things. I mean, you have to be yeah. at the top of your game. And I am going to go ahead and predict that at some point you're going to also be nominated oh. for your voice and for your work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make that prediction right now today, and we're going to claim it. Hey, from your lips and God's ears, I receive that. I embrace that. Thank you for that, Phyllis. The, you know, I, I, I love it. I love you know, it. I do. And I, I I just see it. And I just need you to keep going. I do have to bring up, announcing seems to run in your family, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Jatobi, my big brother, holds it down in Durham as yes. the voice of the Durham Bulls and now the voice of the Hurricanes. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. So announcing is just, you know, in your blood, it just runs in the family. But yeah. Janora McDuffie, Durhamite, Durham native, yes. UNC graduate, uh, UNC Chapel Hill graduate, we are so proud of you. Can I say home girl? We are proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time for me because I know this is a crazy week, but thank you for visiting with me. You are absolutely I, welcome. Anything from my hometown folks. I, I <laughs> so we, you, we have been visiting with Janora McDuffie, who is going to, is the voice of the 94th Academy Awards, which will air March 27th at 8 p.m. on ABC. Tune in, but listen in, listen for her. <laughs> I'm Phyllis Coley. You've been watching Spectacular Magazine Shorts. Until next time, see ya. Spectacular Magazine, we on the scene.